Katie and I, we both love sports. You know, this was something that we really bonded over. And so when I was able to share Aggie Athletics with her, you know, she latched on really quickly. And it kind of became this newfound passion of hers as well. Our first date was actually to an Aggie football game. So it started out right, our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's just, it's fun to, to feel like you belong somewhere. You know, Utah State's part of who I am. I look at a school as an investment. You know, I invested in myself um, and I invested in my future, but I also look back and I realize how much Utah State invested in me. You know, one of our core beliefs is, you know, Utah State athletics, you know, helps put Utah State on the map, you know, and when we contribute to the athletic program, we bring more attention back to Utah State. I think that's what gets us really excited about any facet of Utah State and why we want to be involved and why we plan to keep being involved. Their vision was, we want to help to finish something that you've struggled to finish. And, and so to me, they're closers, right? They're, they're coming in saying, how can we help you close the gap to finish off an experience? Men, women, uh, any of our sports, it's not dedicated toward just one thing. What they've done for athletics has been amazing, but what they're doing for others that need the support, their Cabins for Cancer program, I think speaks to the way they view humanity and what they want to do to give back to help people have better lives. Spencer is a two-time cancer survivor, um, and he was living in Logan, doing treatment at Huntsman Cancer down in Salt Lake, and so when he felt well enough, he would come up um, and come to Bear Lake. We drive over that summit, be looking out over the entire valley, and I remember this peace that would settle in on me. And honestly, I, I remember going through that, and I remember feeling guilty because I would show up to the cancer center, and I'd have all these these good friends that I'd made, and I always just thought I was like, I wish I could bring them all, you know, up to Bear Lake. I wish they could all experience that healing that I experienced, and that was kind of, I think, the brainchild of where Cabins for Cancer came from, because. I, I felt blessed. I felt blessed to have a second chance. You know, the opportunity just didn't quite evolve how I could do it um, until I, I met Katie and, you know, I explained to her how much it meant to me and, you know, that I wanted to do something. I said, why haven't you done it? Like, let's go, let's do it, you know? And so we worked together to create this uh, foundation and we've seen awesome growth in it. I get so much out of Cabins for Cancer and I've grown as a person. Um, and it's just, it's made me want to share that love and that time and energy with other people. I thought of all the excuses in the world, but ultimately I just realized I'm like, I haven't acted. And if anything that I love about Katie, it's that she's action oriented, you know, that she, helps me take a step forward and move. And together, we're still learning. We're still on it right now. And we're, we're going and we're trying to impact people for good and, and help families all around us.